okay now let's understand you know the meaning of multiple angle so suppose if we have angle a now the multiple of a can be 2a it can be 3a it can be 4a so any number that multiply by 4 okay such that the number must be greater than no greater than uh, it must be greater than 1 okay it must be a positive number for example there is a 2 there is a 3 there is 4 now these are called multiples okay now there is a next term we have the next term that is called sub multiple m u l t i p l e now sub multiple are the number which are greater than 0 but less than 1 for example you can say uh, 8 divided by 2 that means 1 by 2 that is 0 0.5 you can consider 8 divided by 3 now that is so 0 0.333 something like that so it's a number greater than 0 but less than 1 so we consider this as a sub multiple now in the previous video we have talked about the angle 2a and 3a now let's talk about the you know the uh, bigger angle for example if we have for example what is the formula of 4a now if we consider now we have the formula of sine 4a now you know basically to know this formula what we have to do we have to compare with the formula that we know so we know the formula of sine 2a so the formula of sine 2a is equals to that is 2 sine a into cos a now what we have to do we have to see the pattern okay when there is angle 2a the angle is a and a so angle is just the half so in the case of sine 4a if we see now basically the formula will be there will be two definitely there will be sine and there will be cos now the angle must be the half so half of 4 is that is 2 so that will be 2a and cos 2a similarly you can go on doing like this if you have the formula of cos now sub consider you have the formula of 5 okay uh, so i don't consider let me talk a simple case let's talk about sine so if you have formula of sine 5a okay now we may have a problem see now this is not the multi uh, in the other case uh, so you can exactly find the half here we, we can do the same thing now we can consider this as you know this is sine so we have to find the half so you can consider that is a divided by 2 that is the half okay now this is the number we have introduced ourselves we have to cancel it so i'm keeping here 2 now if you see over here so if you now this is same as the 5a now half of 5a is definitely 5a divided by 2 so the formula will be definitely 2 sine now that will be 5a divided by 2 because the half of 5a is 5a divided by 2 and the next term will be cos 5a divided by 2 now now let's consider the case of cos suppose we have the formula of cos 4a now it can be any other angle so in terms of cos again we have to know the main formula the original one so the formula of cos 2a now the formula is cos square a minus sine square a now again if you see the angle is 2a the angle is a and a the angle is half so this will be this can be expressed as cos square 3a half of 6 is 3 so minus sine square 3a okay so this is the basic concept now let us talk about sub multiple okay now we'll talk about the sub multiple now if we talk about sub multiple now let me talk a formula for example if we have to find the formula of sine a okay now in the cost in the first case we have the form of sine 2a now again we have, the concept is same when we have the angle you have to divide uh, you, you must get the angle on right hand side it must be half of the original angle so the angle is a definitely the angle will be a by 2 so this will be 2 sine a by 2 cos a by 2 okay so but if you have the for consider again we have sine a by 2 okay now you have to express again what you have to do this is 2 sine now half of a by 2 now that will be a by 4 so the formula will be sine a by 4 and cos a by 4 so in this way we can get the formula of uh, sub multiple 2 okay now if you have any question please uh, uh, actually what I'm trying to do you have if you have any question if you have any doubt uh, then please you can uh, 
write them on the comment section okay uh, I'll be making videos on my own side too but if you have any problem I'll give for the first priority to your problem to your doubt so please if you have uh, doubt and problem you can write them in the comment section so that I can make video on them and I hope this will help you thank you there are certain forms in the multiple angle which are often more used so let us talk about those forms now if we see the formula of cos 2a we know the formula of that is 2 cos square a minus 1 or you just want you know the co 2 cos square a what do you do if you take 1 over that side now we'll get the term that will be 1 plus cos 2a is a cos 2 2 cos square a now this is quite important you know this form you will be using many times in your problem so i'll focus on this so please you have to keep in this mind so 1 plus cos 2a is 2 cos square a minus one. actually we don't have to memorize we know the original formula whenever we have confused when you, you need it you can use it but if you you know if you have already kept in your mind it will be much easier you don't have to do that again and say so similarly we have cos 2a formula in terms of sine so that the formula is 1 minus 2 uh, so sine a square a now if you again see over here if you take uh, if you take this over here this term over here and bring this term over this side then we'll get over here so 2 sine a square a is equals to 1 minus cos 2a now this is the next form which is quite important okay now if you compare this and this so you can see only one difference there is a plus and there is a minus so you have to remember that when there is a plus it will become cos square uh, cos when there is a minus that will become sine so 1 minus cos 2a there is a minus so that is 2 sine square a 1 plus cos 2a is a plus so that will be cos square a so this is the form that we will be using more and more okay so please keep this form uh, in mind so that it will be helpful to you